Angelo was originally set to be let go from this entire season due to getting on that literal 10 hour live with that John Yates guy. The reason is because she told the entire storyline and basically bulk contract due to her ranting and raving. She did have to go with she did have to go set up a suit with TLC due to this. But at the end of the day, they decided due to due to audience response and also money, aka the real reason, regardless, that they kept her story, but they cut legitimately 80% of it. Now I'm gonna say this before I continue with the rest of this video, and trust me when I tell you, if you are driving, please pull up to the side because some of this information right now is jaw dropping if you're at work listen tell your boss you need to go for a toilet break or just find a way to just you know not be in the office right now because i don't want you to be making any kind of sounds that has people looking you thinking what the hell is wrong with you that moment you go what but i will say this though there's gonna be many things that i'm gonna say in this video here that has been reported towards me by a very by a source that is quite close very close okay within the whole franchise but also on top of that I've also spoke to other people that I know, okay? And uh, to let me know if they believe that the information that I've got here, how true it can be. And everyone I've spoke to so far believes that this information is pretty much, <clears throat> okay? But I will say allegedly just in case, you know, just to cover myself, but to be honest with you, as I read it, you lovely folks are gonna know that what I read is unlikely for it to not be true. But either way though, Let's get into this one because boy, we are about to expose the whole thing involving Angela freaking Deem. Now, with this next one itself in particular here, she was supposed to be on by the third episode originally. For the record, this season has 21 episodes. Oh my goodness gracious me. Finding that out just ugh, so annoying because this season is so freaking boring. But anyway, Angela won't be on until the May, May 24th episode airing. Here is the synopsis for the episode so you know. Angela learns the fate of Michael's visa. Now that's the only part that I need to read there because the rest of it tells me the rest of what goes on the episode which we don't need to know because it's not about the video. Now with that being said though, whew, be ready for this one because this one itself in particular is... <sighs> now here's the thing. Angela won't be back after this season. She became too much of a liability and she is also having an apparent breakdown. What the public doesn't know though is that besides what she what we see on TV, Angela has had major major issues with the cast and crew off camera too. That line itself in particular is a line that I can say doesn't surprise me and I can say that I can see it being 1000% true. I can see it that way based on what we have witnessed from her throughout the years. Tell me different. Now we continue from verbal, which we know Angela loves to be verbal and even physical abuse, something that we've even seen from her as well. Even going as far as calling Sean Robinson the N word. Now, of course, because we haven't seen this, I'm going to say allegedly calling Sean Robinson the N word and also calling Michael the N-word on John Yates' video uh, while calling him the R-word. Now, again, I'm going to say allegedly calling him the R-word as well as calling him the N-word too, okay, purely because I haven't necessarily seen it myself. To verbally assaulting the crew and also, and also and almost getting physical with them as well. That line right there, verbally assaulting the crew and almost getting physical with them as well, that sounds so freaking true to me because it's what we've seen her do. From time and time again, whether it's been towards Michael and we've seen it on screen, or whether it's been with her and her friends and we've seen it reported on TMZ or was it TMZ? I know it got reported on The Sun and reported by myself and other people. So we know she has the ability to be verbal and to be physical. So again, I find that one hard to not believe. Then we move on. I'm warming you up. It only gets worse. It only gets worse. Now we're really going to go into the nitty and gritty. Okay? We all know Angela is abusive as we've seen. She's also been abusive to Avery's mum. She's obviously somebody else who was part of the show before. Rebecca off camera, now I'm going to say allegedly has been abused to Avery's mum and also uh, allegedly towards Rebecca off camera too. And has had to, and, ha <clears throat> and has had to be walked off stage numerous times on set, which wouldn't surprise me. 
Here's the thing though, it all goes well. If it all goes well with Michael's green card or visa, he may be back for his own single life or another or other 90 day fiance franchise. Interesting. I mean, to be fair, the man needs the bag. So I, if I was him, I'd probably freaking do it. You know what I mean? Regardless of what he's going to do. Angela also tried pulling the it's me, it's either me or Michael. And let's just say Michael won that bad, that won that game fair and square. I mean, that does sound accurate to something that Angela would probably do. Now we continue. Here we go. Here we go. Speaking of Angela. So, so speaking of which, Angela has come out and admitted that all the money both of them made, because remember, without Michael, she wouldn't even be on the show, let alone come back, was coming through her and she spent it all on surgeries, her teeth and travel. Travel not spent seeing Michael, by the way, but to her shitty meet and greet and other places. She recently gone on Arnie's advice live, obviously, which we saw, okay, and tried to act, and tried to uh, act the victim by saying Michael scammed her, etc. Then also admitted she controlled the money and spent it and sent it and sent it to him. And also and send none and send none of it to him. That's what you should really say there, right? It's interesting, isn't it? Because um, in life, you can watch someone for how long you watch them. And when you watch that person, you become familiar with their mannerisms, with their habits, with everything that they do. If somebody tells you something that pretty much is in line with that person's behavior, it's hard for us to ever sit and say, damn, there's no way this could be, this, 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 this could be a, this could be a lie. It's, it's just so close to the truth, you know? Uh. Now I will say this though, I did, um, I will say this though, you know, Jeremiah, bear in mind though, the, another reason why I have to be very careful when I say, obviously, you know, these things can be alleged is because, uh, the people or the way I've got this information from, you know, um, well, people's identities have to be protected if you dig what I'm saying. But with that being said, though, let's move on to the next one, because uh, <laughs> this one right here, and I'm pretty sure you can already see what it says right there. Yes, yes, yes. By the way, some inside tea. Angela never intended to marry Michael originally. This was actually the reason she was so adamant about marrying in the States because she was going to send him back, send him home before the 90 days and end it. The show told her that if she doesn't actually make some type of move, then they weren't interested in her story anymore. It had nothing to do with her wanting her family there for the wedding, etc. It was the fact that they weren't going to follow them anymore. That entire season where she was going, where she goes to Nigeria and finally says she'll get married, <laughs> there was, uh, th th there she was dragging her feet the whole time. Now, there is something here that comes up next. And to be honest with you, um, I'm pretty sure if you, if you do exactly the same thing, you will see what's being said here and how it makes a lot of sense. On the show, you recall, you recall they go to meet someone who tells them, uh, <clears throat> sorry, who talks to them in Nigeria about getting married. That was the day she made her mind up finally and gave in. If you watch that scene back, knowing this, mm -hmm, watch that scene back, knowing this, you can tell she was defeated and realized it. Fame was more important to Angela than anything else. As we know from her, t from her two times on the Murray show with her pedophile daughter, before this and the Trish show too, Angela will do anything to get on TV, including marrying a man she doesn't even like. <laughs> oh boy, has that, that has changed the dynamic of everything. Why? Because it's something that I can imagine people would have maybe, 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 maybe guessed, potentially. But now we know this, it changes everything. It changes exactly how we're going to be seeing Angela. It changes exactly how we're going to be analyzing their relationship. Well, alleged relationship, should I say now? But that's not the end of it because uh, there's more. There's always more. And let's get into it. TLC signed her on for more seasons after that. But the entire time, she never once adjusted his status. That's why it took so many years to get this man into freaking America. 
There was no delay from the government himself in particular. It was Angela Deem taking her time to adjust his status until finally they pulled the same shiz. Basically, if you don't get him over here, we can't do we can't do anything more about it because she's going to watch Michael be dragged around on an iPad for another season. Exactly. Who's going to do that? We can't do that, can we now? Mm -mm -mm. No one. Angela has admitted on her life that she never adjusted his status. Still, she did this for a reason. She didn't want to be with him. Her missing persons report was BS. She also admits this is in her video. She was literally saying she kicked him out. And then uh, and then was Pikachu surprise, a uh, surprise face when he left like she told him to. So Michael didn't run away, allegedly. Michael actually left him. Angela told him to leave. Alleg oh, ho, 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 ho. The plot, the plot thickens. But like I said before, it is entirely up to every single one of you, whether or not you want to believe this information right here, seeing that I'm not allowed to necessarily actually confirm to you guys who the sources are for, you know, clear reasons you dig what i'm saying okay so obviously it is entirely up to you whether or not you want to see this information as truthful or if you want to see the information has uh, speculation or just as complete bs but there's one more one more one more to go and then we are done okay listening carefully overall it's obvious to anyone with eyes that michael was using her technically there may have been a small part of him that liked her but it was very brief. However, no one ever seems to bring up the fact that this woman spent all the money they made together on the show. How she would have always been alone, but Michael just wasted years of his life and now has problems due to his reputation being destroyed as a scammer. If you ask me, the biggest scammer here is Angela, but she just fumbled the bag on this season. So by the time her episode airs, there will be about 10 episodes left. And by the way, she won't even be on more than roughly six of those. So you can, so you only get paid um, for your episodes that air. And if the storyline is cut like, uh, like it is here and edited down so much, well, that's more than half of your paycheck. Kudos gone cheerio done and dusted now here's the thing like i said at the very beginning after i received this uh you know email so particularly here you know what i mean from a reliable source i then also spoke to you know someone else and others that i know who were also close within the industry so in particular and i said hey so tell me you know about this you know how, how true do you believe this is or how true do you know it to be and you know i was told that um they believe it to be true, but they don't necessarily, uh, can, can necessarily, you know, they, they believe it true based on what they have seen. They believe it to be true. Not that it's true based on what they've seen, but also on top of that, let's talk about this last bit here. I was told also at the same time, it was better for TLC to pretty much not necessarily bring her back in because they profit from it, but it was better off for them to, if they were going to bring her back in, which she has, to bring her back in just for the last few episodes, purely because that means they will have to pay her less money, okay? Because of course you get paid per episode or the episode that you appear on, do you see what I'm saying? And the less episodes that she gets paid, she, that she appears on, the less money that she would then get paid. Therefore, TLC don't have to worry too much about paying her a whole season's worth of money, given the fact that they are now, or based on this, officially done with her, do you see what I'm saying? So given that this is all true now, I do wonder though, once the season is over, I do really wonder if Angela Deem is going to uh, speak out some more. Now, I will say this though, there's also another part of this information here that I got that I couldn't show you guys. There's got other stuff that I can't show you where he talks about how Angela Deem is generally doing all of these things right now because she is starting to have somewhat of a breakdown. And that is why she ended up going on the live stream with Johnny Ace at the time and just saying all of that freaking madness, okay? Um, and obviously when it came to the whole uh, auntie uh, advice thing, that's another life that really and truly she wasn't meant to be a part of. Of course, in that one, she did behave. She didn't actually say too much at all. 
but uh, all of these things here are signs of her pretty much you know well the first one was a sign of her breaking down and then obviously now it's more of like a damage control now here's the thing <laughs> i wouldn't be surprised that once the season's over and once angela's contract is either over or near the ends of it being over i wouldn't be surprised if she does then come out and starts to say a whole lot of things regarding her experience and whatnot because you see here's the thing given that this stuff is uh, allegedly true and whatnot andrew dean would have potentially if anything most likely ruined her reputation within the reality tv world which therefore means the chances of her getting on screen again with another tv show may be quite limited it may never happen because at the end of the day when you ruin your reputation well then who really wants to work with you if, especially if people know and have heard that you can be verbally and physically abusive you know what i mean no one's going to want to be around that you know and this is why you know we've had certain people before come on the show and we've never seen them again because of being hard to work with not not for the same reasons but you get what i'm saying when, when you're hard to work with people don't want to work with you and that's just the grand scheme of things but nonetheless though the question really remains here do you believe what has been do you believe the tea or do you have your own questions about the tea or do you think this is a complete bs for me myself in particular <laughs> is that it feels a bit it feels it feels very accurate to me personally you know what i mean but listen with that being said though let me know what you're thinking and of course you should know by now. I mean, the people that are subscribers know by now that this is the place that you have to start coming to get the freaking tea. Damn. We've been on fire lately. I honestly do believe that we have been on fire right now. You know what I mean? But with that being said, though, let me know what you're thinking down below. And we can most certainly talk about it. But boy, boy, boy. Mm. <laughs> if Michael really does come back for another season, whether it's single life or another season, Let's be real. Angela's going to hate that. Because why? Because the man is still going to be in the show and he's finally going to start. He's, gonna, he's, he's finally going to end up earning money, earning, the, earning, mon earning money that's going to be all just for himself. While she's going to be there home, miserable, bitter, pretending to not watch and going, oh, look, what's he doing? Oh, look. What, uh, uh. You know how like in, in life you get like um, 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 those people that will like, for example, you get people who like, uh, um, let me give you an example like in the wrestling world for example okay you got eric bischoff somebody that did it for years 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 now he's not really in it what's he what's he what's he got now he's now got a youtube page so now he just watches wrestling and then gives his own critiques and talks about oh yeah but i wouldn't have done it this way or this this should be that way jim Cornette does the same thing blah 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 those people that are no longer in it so therefore they just review it and all that kind of stuff to stay relevant and stay and stay important right no disrespect to eric of course here yeah. but I can imagine Andrew Deem after this potentially starting her own little Instagram, no, her own little page, you know, doing reviews on night days and being like, oh, look, you know what, guys, I'm telling you right now, this is this is the truth. No, no, I know this part, they faked it. Oh, look at Michael. He must think he's better off without me now, you know. I can see her going on that route. <laughs> Boy, if she goes down that route, that'd be crazy. But then when she goes down that route, she's then going to realize how hard YouTube really, really is, if you know what I'm saying. She's going to understand how hard it really is to be consistent, to make sure that you're on top of things and to make sure that you're doing your best to connect with people online you know what i mean <laughs> i'm just saying though i wouldn't be surprised if she ends up becoming one of those people if you know what i mean but with that being said though let me know what you're thinking down below in the comment section don't forget to like and subscribe hopefully by the end of this video we'll be how many subscribers have i got now i don't know I hope we get we got more that's just the grand scheme of it uh peace oh.